I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi. If you don't know how to play Richi yet, there's some information in the description below the video. I have some links to tutorials and also some recommended reading. Also there is a link to a player reference that you can download so that you can follow along when I do these exercises, both random pulls and solitaire. It's a great way to learn the Yaku. You gotta have a Yaku to qualify to win. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you won't miss anything. I have a Hanchen indicator here. We're going to alternate between east and south. Then, I have some Tenbo. We're going to do six random pulls. Just to practice finding a Yaku, or at least a plan to obtain a Yaku from the drawn hand. We're just gonna say we're the dealer. We have 14 tiles here. Four, four, six. Nine crack is Dora. No nine crack, but we do have a seven crack. Let's see here, seven, eight, seven, nine, seven, eight, four, six, one, two, three. At first I was interested in the seven and the eight because we have the seven, nine here. We could maybe play mixed triple chow, but we're really light in these. The other pattern that I see here is a potential pure straight. Potential chi, potential chi, potential chi. So we would do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That would be a pure straight, one suit, sequence of nine. Then we would need to pair up and pung. I would discard these first, go for a pure straight, half flesh. If you would do something differently here, write random pull one and what you would do with these tiles. Maybe hold those, throw these first. The challenge here will be these single honors. Can't do anything with those with simples. They have to be paired up or punged. So we would need to draw into those. But we have one, two, three blocks. I would try for pure straight or half flush. South round. Random pull two. East is the door indicator. The direction for the door indicators with winds goes like this, east, south, west, north, back to east. So south is Dora. East, south, west, north, south is Dora. We have four, five, six, six, seven, four, six, two, three, nine, pair north. We're in the east seat and it is south round. This will bring no value. So we can use that as a pair for a hand called Pinfu. That's a uh, Yaku with one Han, very low score. So I think what I would do here is Probably throw the one and the nine 
and then maybe that three. We have one, two, three, four, five blocks. We have a chi here, side weight. We need either a five or an eight here. Here's a middle weight or closed weight, and here's another side weight. We need a one or a four, and then we have a pair. I would try for Pinfu and Ricci for this set of tiles. If you would do something different, write random pull two in the comment section below and what you would do with these tiles. East round, random pull three. Four crack is Dora this time. Okay, for this one, we're four tiles from a half flush, including the suit for Dora. We have a pair of ones, two, three. We could do a two, three, four using Dora, or three, four, five, or one, two, three there. Maybe just focus on cracks. I would hold the fours as long as possible and probably discard these first. If we're east seat, that could bring score and this one. We really won't get score for these two wins, but these two, if we pair up, we could get score for that. That would be Yakuhai, your seat win or Dragon Pung. We would need to get Pungs though, of course. So singles, not helpful. We'd have to pair up in Pung. We have a potential Pung, potential Chi, potential Chi singles. So we would have to pair up. Discard these, hold these, see if we get more cracks or pair up, and then sacrifice that offsuit pair. If you would discard these single honors and hold the number tiles, write random pull three. And if that's what you would do here. The challenge here is these are isolated just as much as these, and these could bring score, whereas these won't. Okay, we're gonna go to the next one. South round. Three bam is Dora. Single honors. Let's check out the chi potential. Isolated. Potential chi. Or there's a chi right there. Potential chi. Potential chi. Or chi right there. Potential chi. One, two, three, four. I think I would discard the north first. These two could bring score because it's the south round. I would throw this first and then see if number tiles come in. Play Pinfu and Ricci. All cheese, all three in a sequence. Most likely discard these. The single honors. Not helpful when you have simples in mixed suits. If you would do something different for these set of tiles, write random pull four and what you would do. You know what I just noticed? We do have three, four, three, four, five, five. There is a slight chance for a mixed triple chi. The same chi in three suits. That's called Sanshoku. And that's a Yaku. 
worth one Han. No Dora here, unless we do that mixed triple chi with the three bam. But we've got work to do. East round, fifth round and pull. Two Bam is Dora. It's East Round, South Pair. We're in East Seat. Look at all those dragons and honor here, singles. I think what I would do is half flush. We have a potential chi, potential chi, potential pwn. Pair any of these up and they could bring score. One, two, three blocks. We would need to pair these up. Hmm. Maybe, ugh. I would discard these. Four discards. Leverage the pair in these honors. But we would need to draw well to make this work. The nice thing here is we have the Dora suit. If you would do something differently here, for example, leverage this potential chi, two, four, two, maybe throw the six crack for two, three, four, two, three, four, two, three, four. I mean, that's only four tiles. That would be a major long shot. I think half flush is much better. I would go for a half flush here. One suit with honors. That's called Honitsu. And that's a Yaku. And I believe that's two Han. Yes, two Han. That's my favorite Yaku, by the way. Last random pull. Three crack is Dora. Toy toy. Here's a pair, 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 pair. One, two, three, four pair. All potential pones. Toy Toy is four pones, four three of a kind in a pair. I think I would hold that and maybe try to pair up or pwn. That's Dora. I think what I would do, discard this first. One, two, three, four. No, I would discard these first because we're set. All we need is another pair in here. We could pwn, 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 pair. We really don't need these. I mean, they could bring score if we paired up, but we're really set with these pairs. I would discard them before anybody else can get ready to take them. I would play Toy Toy, Leverage Dora. Discard these and pwn. If you would do anything differently for any of those random pulls, just write down which random pull and what you would do with those tiles. I'm still learning the Yaku, so I may have missed something. And my tendency is to play Honitsu. Can you tell? Honitsu or Toy Toy. I just think that those are kind of go-to hands. I could be wrong though. Pinfu is probably the most common from my experience. It just seems like I get all numbered tiles when I get my drawn hand. So I play Pinfu and Richi most of the times. If I'm set up for Honitsu though, I'll go for it. Half flesh, it's a pretty hand. 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way, you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pools for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi, may all your picks be keepers.